Hello and welcome to another ADA video. Um, looking at the bigger picture, there is absolutely no change and also no reason to change anything. We still have the situation that of the 10th of March low, we rallied in a leading diagonal in a wave one. Alternatively, this would be a B wave top in still a larger flat pattern, which would be still a bullish scenario. Um, and then we are basically in the primary scenario now coming down in a wave two. In the alternative, that would be a C wave in a larger wave two, which would also be bullish. It would just allow for a deeper pullback. So we have basically two support areas here, which are just above each other. And the question is just which one is going to hold um, and which one is going to hold is going to determine which wave count we are looking at. So it will give us some clarity um, obviously my preferred choice is clearly there. Yeah, that's why I'm focused um, primarily on the idea that we moved up in a leading diagonal um, and that we're now coming down in a wave two in an ABC structure. But um, the other scenario is likely as well. Always bear in mind, I will not show you unlikely scenarios. I will only show you likely ones. And then it's all about weighing between them, which one is more likely at this stage and which one is less likely. Important is that in the first or primary scenario, price should not drop below 33.3 cents because it would make the current scenario very, very unlikely. However, we then have the alternative setup. And in this scenario, price should not drop below 27.6 cents. Only below 27.6 cents, I would start to look for new bear market lows, but already below 33.3, I will get more concerned about new bear market lows. Now, looking at this structure, I think we are also, at least from what we can see at the moment, we are fairly close to an overall low. We completed here this Elliott wave triangle um, that's unchanged on the 5th of May. We've been heading down. We can count actually five waves down complete in a C wave. So we have our A wave done, we have our B wave done and the C wave possibly done. If that's the case, price could now break higher. To believe that, I would like to see first a break above 38.3 cents. That's the wave too high. And then even more important would be a break above the B wave high at 39.8 cents. However, there is a different way of counting it. Um, and that would be more in line with Bitcoin, Ethereum and many other coins. And it's absolutely valid as well. And that would include the idea that the B wave, which I'm currently counting at the end of the Elliott wave triangle, that the B wave could sit here. They are both valid interpretations. And then we have a larger move down, which would allow for one more leg down here. And I mean, as long as that stays above 33.3 cents, that's OK. So I would at this stage not rule out another low. Just note that of many of the coins that we cover um, with the latest low here on the ADA chart, the low could be in. But also here at the moment, I'm still watching primarily for one more low. Um, just always bear in mind when we are in these support or trend reversal areas, price can turn around. At the moment, though, I have no sufficient evidence that we have bottomed other than a wave count. Um, but again, there are two interpretations. OK, so and in one of them, it would allow for another dip. Price would now need to confirm that a low has been made by breaking above the resistance levels that I indicated. OK, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.